Hey everybody, uh, happy birthday. If it's your birthday, you never know, it might be. Today is a home vlog, home vlog. That was like a little jingle I made up. We're, we're in the car now. Yeah. Yeah. Editing. Editing. <laughs> we're going to, uh, we're going to Four Rivers. This guy sounds like he's very angry. He's just trying to drop off his packages. That was a UPS guy. <laughs> I wish there was a better way to say hot brisket now when the sound that a cow makes, like hot, hot brisket moo. <laughs> like a, if a cat were to do it, right? Hot, get, hot brisket meow. Location has a sweet shop in it and you can get milkshakes, but they will also make your milkshake where they take a cupcake and put it in the milkshake and then mix everything up. I'm very excited for this because I got some cheese grits, which is like my favorite thing. That's what? true, I know that it's your favorite thing. <laughs> what did you get? You got something new. I got something new, I got, I think it's called the Destroyer. No, it's called the Longhorn. <laughs> it's like brisket or pulled pork with sausage on top. Oh, is it? It's a sandwich, yeah. I'm very interested to see this thing. It's an open face sandwich, I think. We've been going here for years and I've never tried anything else. I always get yeah, the I same always exact get the same thing. thing. <laughs> I always get but the baked beans are always good, so I'm excited I got baked beans. In your in your longhorn? No, on the side. Oh god, I got okra yeah, on the yeah. side. It's good. Yeah. You ever just sit in traffic and uh look up old Nickelodeon personalities like Keenan and Kel? I'm telling you guys, I get all of my news from Twitter moments. And right. so there was a Twitter moment about how Keenan and Kel were on Wild, Wild and Out, Wild Wild and and out. out on MTV, um, which has a bunch of YouTubers on there apparently, yeah. which is crazy. So, um, so yeah, so they reunited. Yeah, and it feels so good. Yeah. Although, you know what I'll say? Not to be like starting a conspiracy theory or something like that, but they weren't really next to each other in any of the pictures. Yeah. And I feel like, are they not friends anymore? I don't know. Not to start a conspiracy theory, but wasn't it Kenan and Kel? No, it was Keenan and Kel. <laughs> oh man, look at this. That's my sandwich. It's been a little while, like it's not hot anymore because we uh, got it and drove home. But look at these beans and these tater tots and this sandwich. Everything looks amazing. A lot of cheese on there though. For my review of the Longhorn at Four Rivers, I would not order that again. It was good, it was delicious, but have you ever had that thing where you eat a sausage and you put it in your mouth and you're like, oh, this is really good, and then you keep eating it and you eat too much of it and you're like, I wish I hadn't eaten that sausage. That's where I'm at right now. I don't want the flavor of the sausage in my mouth anymore, but it's, I don't know, it, it's just there. It's like overpowering everything. It's kind of giving me a headache. You ever gotten a headache from eating too much sausage? Because that's where I'm at as well. Oh my goodness. I wish that there are times when I wish that I had instant cameras inside my eyeballs <laughs> so that I can record something for you guys because Bandit was just stretching Ew. and at the height of his stretch, a noise crept out of him. <laughs> that sounds so awful. That sounded like <laughs> And it was hysterical. Woke himself up by farting. There are times that I tweet stuff out because it's like an interesting con not a concept, but like a, an interesting experiment that I have inside my brain. And it was today I tweeted out, in your opinion, what do you think the most popular ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios is? And then I give the four rides as a poll. So there's only four rides, which is ridiculous. <laughs> wait, is there only four rides? Yeah, name another ride that I didn't list. Name a better duo. Oh <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, what? I can't believe that. Yeah, there's only four rides in the whole park. Well, I always see people say stuff like that on Twitter, and I'm like, oh, they're just trolling. Like, yeah. they're just being negative. But they're I guess not trolling. They're right. They're, they're boxy. boxy. <laughs> um. <laughs> How many people got that? <laughs> right? That's a throwback. There you go. So I tweeted that out, but I also figured, like, because we have an interaction here, we're talking yeah. on the video. Yeah. I want you guys to leave me a comment down below oh. what you think the most popular ride. Not your favorite though. Like yeah, what, not your favorite. Like when you go to the parks, what is the, the ride that has always the longest wait? Yeah. Always. The, or like a ride that you're like, ooh, I got that fast pass. <laughs> I can't believe I got that fast pass. So like obviously for for Animal Kingdom, it would be like the Pandora, yeah, uh, what is it? Flight, Flight of Passage. Passage. So like that might not be your favorite ride, but you know that there's no way that you're yeah. gonna be able to get a fast pass or you know it's gonna be a six hour long wait. Like right. what ride is that for every other park? So leave us a comment down below what you think it is. Cause I... I'm interested to hear this because like 
when we were talking about this, we had different ideas. Yeah, yeah. and for for Hollywood Studios, I was like rock and roller coaster because that has that always has the longest wait. But I think, I that think that's Tower of Terror. But that's and you're saying that because it's the icon of no, the park. No, I'm saying that because it always has a long wait. But it doesn't always. I've been there. It's been like 13 minutes. Because it was like raining or yeah, but rock and roller coaster was still a long wait. Because it's inside. Right. Well, Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror is inside too. I don't know. I don't get but it. But rock and roller coaster just has. What but do you think? I, in the poll right now, Midway Mania is in the lead. And that I feel like that doesn't have a long wait anymore. It does because of the whole construction thing that's going on, but. I, it's a conundrum. What do you is, think? Yeah. Tell us in the comments down this, below. This is the type of thing that runs through my brain. Well, this is what we talk about. Like when we're not at Disney, we're just talking about Disney. Yeah, so. we've always thought we've always <laughs> thought about recording this and just like having a, a video of just us talking. Like a just, podcast. Okay, so we tried to do a podcast like last year, I think. And it was all about bananas. It well, because we didn't. Here's what it was: is we ha we have like so many friends who do theme park podcasts, and they do them great, and they're wonderful podcasts. So we're like, we don't really want to do the same thing that they're doing. Like, right. let, what what can we do that will be like fun for us and for the listener, but also something different? So we picked a we went to a random a random word generator website, and we picked a random word, or it picked a random word, which was banana. Yeah. So we just talked for an hour about bananas. An hour about bananas. It was pretty interesting too. And it really was. Well, we learned a lot about the banana. Like yeah. I learned a lot of things that I did not know. Right. So I don't know. So that was what we did for um, for our first podcast and then we never had another one. <laughs> you know what I want you to do? What? I want there to be a thing that comes out of my hand uh -huh. when I put it up at the screen and it says banana effects. <laughs> That's what I want to have happen. You For this you video? Do it? Yeah, right now. But we don't have any banana, banana effects. I don't. I don't have any banana effects though. Yeah, no. I just want that that effect in there because it's cool. Okay, I don't. I'll I'll learn how to do it. I guess. <laughs> Some of the questions that we got for the Q&A that we there were a lot of questions that we couldn't answer And this was one that I kind of was thinking about somebody was well a bunch of people asked who do you watch? Like what vlogs do you watch? What bloggers do you watch? What YouTube videos do you watch? And generally I watch either vine compilation of like the same 10 vines over and over and over again yeah. And then I also love watching YouTube videos where they just explain movies one of them did a, a Happy Death Day video and I remembered that when we went to Halloween Horror Nights, yeah. part of the, um, was Blumhouse. it the Blumhouse? Yeah, part of the one in Hollywood had a Happy Death Day sequence. We didn't have that, right? Right. Okay, so, and I was like, well, what is this? And one of them said that it was like a good movie. So, and that it, I guess, has like a twist. <gasps> So, um, it's basically like a horror version of Groundhog's Day. Yeah, this girl like dies and then she keeps waking up on the day of her death and then she has to figure out who killed her, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna watch it now. Yeah, Let's so, but that's like the reason why we're watching it is because somebody explained it. And I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I, I would rather watch a movie after it's been explained so that I know if it's like worth watching. You know what I'm saying? Do you no. guys do that? Do you guys ever like, like, are there any people out there who love to read books and like read the last page first? You know? What? Yeah, that's the thing. I would do that. So you know if it's worth like reading 300 pages. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I feel like you're the only person in the world that does that. I don't think so. Leave a comment down below. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're halfway through the movie, I think. It's got an hour left. Okay, a couple of things that I don't think are spoilery at all. Um, she dies a bunch. Well, that's the point of the movie. <laughs> but she's in college, and she goes to a college whose mascot is a baby. Right. They're the Are they the Bayside Babies? I don't know. I think Are they Bayside? Isn't that from 90210? It's from Saved by the Bell, Saved but the I think Bell? they're Bayside Babies. Bayside babies walking who's, through the street. But who's gonna be like, like? Ooh, we're so scared of the babies. No, but you know how like when cheerleaders, I just think of like like cheerleaders, and they're like, go get them, fight, yeah. fight, fight. Like you're literally like, go fight those babies. That's weird, right? Yeah, maybe that's their whole tactic. What is like, the other team can't be, like cheering against us because then they're cheering against babies. Is that how they went? It was just so weird. There was something else that was really weird um, about There's the movie. There's a lot of weird stuff about this movie. But there was something else that was strange that I was like, what? So we watched it. Oh, sorry, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other thing I meant to say earlier though was that it reminded me a lot of like Scream. It was kind of like that sort because of Because you like, couldn't figure out like who the killer was. They're like, everybody's the killer. But also yeah. it was kind of like the humor in it. it. It was kind of reminded me of Scream. I liked it. 
Yeah, it was enjoyable. Yeah. Bayfield babies, not Bayside. Bayfield. Yeah, it was based Bayfield. Yeah, but the Bayfield babies. <laughs> Who's like Bayfield what? babies number one? Okay, everybody, leave your worst mascot name. Like, like who's the worst mascot? Like the what's, Bayfield babies. What's worse than a baby? A child. <laughs> no, seriously though. Like, what would be worse than a baby? That's a fine reference. <laughs> we don't hate children. Um, <laughs> I'd I'd pick something that's like really psychologically scary though. If I wanted to like, <laughs> like, like what? the dentist, the New York lead paint. <laughs> So a few days ago, we had an issue where our drain pipe clogged. So I ordered this. It was the night we were supposed to see the Beach Boys. Oh yeah, it was the night the Beach Boys played. Uh, so I ordered this, and this is a camera that can go down inside the pipe so that we can see if there's a clog still, which I don't think there is, but I also want to see where it transitions from PVC to cast iron, and if the pipe turns or anything like that. Fun thing about that is, I can record it. You guys want to see inside of our drain pipe? There's going to be poop and stuff in there because it's a drain pipe. It's like a sewer pipe. It's going to be gross. No, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I thought that was going to be a lot more exciting than it was. The, the cast iron was basically like right there. I thought it was going to be like PVC for a while and it's going to be like, oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Yeah, it's like as soon as I stuck the camera in there, I was like fishing it a little bit and it was like, there's the cast iron. Well, and why did we have to buy the camera? Well, it's good to know because I couldn't see it, uh, and I'm going to use it for something else. What? What else is broken? The pool. The pool's always been broken. What are you going to put the camera in? The, the drain to try to figure out why the bottom drain doesn't work. So, but now I'm going to dig up the PVC outside and try to replace a little bit more of the cast iron because it looked like a bad connection. Like, I shouldn't have been able to see the edge of the pipe in there. That wasn't right. So I just looked back at the footage of when I stuck the the snake into the pipe. I didn't realize that it was recording like every 10th frame or something like that, so it's a terrible quality video, but maybe you could see what was going on? I couldn't, it was very difficult. But when I was just looking at the camera, it was full frame rate as I was sticking it down there, so I don't know why the recording was different than the view. I don't know, it's, it's a cheap camera. So uh, I feel like today was very kind of willy-nilly, and I liked it. Home vlog, good times, going to bed, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.